Pop Rivet Demo 101. So we've got our basic tools here. We have a Whitney punch, which if we look at this closely, there's a little uh, punch that comes down and, and you can see it actuating right there. It's got a die inside there and it punches exactly an eighth inch hole. Now we could use a drill uh, with an eighth inch diameter as well. This will work, but drilling into sheet metal like this is a little bit sketchy, especially, oh, I'm pushing and I drilled through my finger. Okay, awful. So this will work, uh, especially when, hey, I don't have a Whitney punch at home, but I want to use pop rivets. Well, um, a drill will work. We're going to use the Whitney punch because we have them, and then also a pop rivet gun. So here's what you need to know. Um, you're, you need to get your corners kind of squared up, and that means we want this corner right here to be at a 90 degree angle. That means we don't want it to be out like this. Oh, reflection. We don't want it to be out like this or too tight in. We're going to get that squared up. Again, use your eye to figure out where a 90 degree angle it, or 90 degree angle is. Take the Whitney punch, open it up. You're going to slip it into the opening here, and we want to make sure on the inside that we are catching that tab. Okay. And then we're going to bring this down, try to get it in the middle of the tab like this, and we're going to punch through both layers. Before we punch through that, we want to make sure it's squared up, so I'm just going to push that in a little bit. And then use two hands. Boom. And then you have to pull it all the way apart so it opens up. And we should have a hole punched through both tab and the side of the pan. Take your pop rivet. These are eighth inch steel pop rivets. Put it in the front of the pop rivet gun. We're going to go from the outside in and put the finished washer on the outside. Get those holes to line up. A little bit of force and wiggling and such. And then on the inside you can see uh, the mandrel there is not expanded. As I squeeze this handle, we can see the mandrel expand and then I kind of have to choke up on it again. Once it's squeezed after release, choke up. Squeeze again and I'm going to have to choke up one more time. Squeeze and you might have to use two hands. Do not get your hands in between here. That would be painful. So keep your hands on the outside and squeeze together until it pops. The mandrel or the shank should slide out of the center and we have a pop riveted corner. Repeat on all four sides. And scene.